Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about this month in particular, which is June. And if you guys don't know, it's Men's Health Month. Yes, Men's Health Month. And if you're a female out there, you might be thinking, well, this really doesn't have anything to do with me. I can just turn off this TV or computer or whatever I'm watching this on, right? Well, it really does have to deal with you. Let me tell you why. Because you probably know somebody that's your dad, brother, cousin, you know, uh, a loved one, like a boyfriend or a husband or somebody that you know as a friend, that's male, right? So Men's Health Month affects us all, just like Females Health Month. And there's, there's something like that just has just directly for females. So this month, we have this directed just towards males, and that's what it is. And there's a lot of things that go along with men's health, okay? So let's talk about some of the important things, men's health, um, and what guys should be looking for in this month. And they should be going over a lot of different testing. So a number one thing is cardiovascular. So heart disease is on the rise. And we know that males usually have strokes or heart attacks more often than females do. We also know that prostate, because males only have prostates, we know that prostate cancer is on the rise too as well. So prostate is male driven. And prostates can be enlarged. They can mess with urinary function. That's why I said you could have cancer and they have to take out the prostate, which is not a good situation. Uh, it's actually happened to one of my cousins. I know what he's had to go through. It's really serious. And maybe some of you guys out there have had to go through this with your loved one. Okay, it's not fun, but you need to make sure that you're checking. And there's at certain age points where you can do blood tests, PSAs, and then after that, you want to do a physical test, okay? And a lot of guys don't like that, but hey, it's something that we have to do to make sure that we're in good health. And the reason we want to be in good health as a male is because we want to be around A, for our own life, B, for our family and loved ones, uh, and, and C, I mean, just to be around, I mean, at that point, you wanna be there and be able to experience things at the best optimal level of health. And that's really, where we're going with this because a lot of guys I know, they're macho, they don't wanna take care of themselves, they don't wanna go see the doctor, they don't want to have to do these different things, these checkups, just to make sure they're okay. Because a lot of them thinking like the old school way is, hey, listen, I'm not bleeding, I'm not dying, I feel all right, I don't need to go to the doctor or hospital, I don't need no checkups. When I die, I die, that's what it's gonna be, right? That's the old school mentality. That's really not that smart. I mean, you know, being old school, like a Greek mentality, you know, I've dealt with this. I've had kind of some part of my life and then I started realizing as I got older that, hey, listen, I'm not Superman. I'm not invincible. I need to make sure that I'm checking up. And then priorities come into play. Like I said, family, your business, whatever it may be. These things are the things that need you around and need you healthy. So the biggest thing is, is to find out if there's a problem in the beginning early stages so you can take care of it so it doesn't get out of hand. There's breast cancer. So breast cancer works for males and females. It's usually directed just at females, okay? But males can get it too. So this is something that you might want to check into, okay? With your doctor, primary care physician, so they can check you out to make sure that you possibly don't have breast cancer, all right? The next thing is, is quality of life, all right? So we want quality of life to be good. Now, if you're generally healthy and you don't have no problems, you might just be aging, there's some things that might affect you. That could be your sleep patterns, your motivation, your drive, your thinking. So are you foggy thinking? Is it not just, are you thinking about that word, just can't get it off the tip of your tongue? Okay, that happens to a lot of people. Libido, all right, so libido, as we get older, we know it starts dying out a little bit. Some of you guys would disagree out there, I totally understand. Um, you know, and then you have your overall body, your metabolism, your cardiovascular system. So these internal organs too, as well. And you want to make sure that everything's at optimal levels. And that's why blood testing is so key. And in this month, we actually have a special going on for Father's Day blood specials. So at that point, you can test everything, liver, kidneys, electrolytes, prostate, all your hormones. So we're talking about free and total testosterone levels, progesterone levels, estrogen levels, growth hormone levels, B12 levels. You might not think these things are so important, 
but they really are and they drive a lot of different things in your body and the way that it functions, okay? From the way that you feel mentally, your physical health, okay, your performance day to day, how you're acting towards your loved one, spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever it is, all right, these things can change. And you know, usually the comments they make is, is you haven't been acting the same or something's wrong or is, is there something wrong? And they ask you, you're like, nothing's wrong with me. You know, and at that point, you don't even want to check to find out when there could be something that you could easily fix and you see it through a blood test. You know, it's not always diagnosing or looking yourself on the outside. On the outside, we can look pristine, we can look healthy, ready to rock and roll like a bull or a Greek statue, okay, or God. But on the inside, there could be some things that are going wrong and it could be just a ticking time bomb. And then what, once one thing goes wrong, multiple things can go wrong after that. It could be like a domino effect. There could be other things that are silently killing you, like blood pressure, okay? Or your sugar levels, your, your glucose levels. These are things that need to be checked regularly. You also wanna check your cholesterol levels, your triglycerides, total cholesterol, LDL, which is your bad cholesterol, HDL, which is your good cholesterol, making sure that all these things are in the right ranges and working optimally for you. And we talked about these silent killers like blood pressure, okay, and sugar levels. Now, these things don't directly affect you when they're off right away. That's why we call them a silent killer, because over time they start damaging the body and doing more harm. And that's when you ultimately end up terminal, is when your body can't take any more. And it might be 20 years, it might be 30 years, it might take a longer time than you realize. And like, like I said, you look in the mirror, I'm running around, I'm healthy, and there's a lot of people that they were healthy one day and a week later have found cancer or were sick, okay? And they didn't know anything until something really bad started happening, like I, I need to go, or a family member takes you in, or people have passed out and be taken in by ambulances. So there's different things that can happen to you that you guys should be prepared for and watch out for and your family members out there. So if you're watching and you're concerned about your husband, your boyfriend, your son, anybody out there that's a male, you should really talk to them about it. It's Men's Health Month. This is something that you should bring up in conversation, you should talk about, everybody should wanna be healthy, everybody should wanna do a checkup. Now, I totally understand, some people, they're really just jaded by doctors, they're jaded by the things that they get put through, they get poked, stuck, million tests, they don't get any answers, you know, and that's when you really have to push on that doctor or physician if there is something. Ultimately, they work for you. They are an employee of you. You guys are paying them, whether it's through insurance or out of your pocket. So ultimately, they should be working with you and for you to help you get the best health and benefits out of your life that you possibly can. So these are just some of the different things you should do for Men's Health Month. Like I said, We've got specials on blood testing. So a full meal package, instead of $200, is $130. That covers all the blood tests that I talked about. It's a very full in-depth panel, okay? We're gonna have libido enhancer, or bedroom enhancing therapies for males. We also have them for females too, but it's Men's Health Month. We wanna hook those guys up, make them as, as tight as possible, right? They wanna be the, the best tight they can. So not to say that they need any help, but hey, listen, if they can take it to the extra next level and, and do that for their partner, I'm sure their, ha their partner is not gonna be upset or uh, uh, mad about it, okay? So these are just some of the different things that I want to talk to you guys about in Men's Health Month. It's very important to get checked up, like I said, for prostate, for breast cancer, for these different things, okay? Make sure that you as a male are taking care of yourself. Don't be too macho and say, I don't want to do that or I don't do that because I'm a male. Listen, I'm as caveman as it gets, okay? But I still will do the right thing for my body and I'm not just doing it for myself. I'm doing it for my family. I'm doing it for my business. I'm doing it for my loved ones and people that care about me. Nobody wants to see you in a hospital bed, all right? Nobody wants to see you hurt. Nobody wants to see you sick. People want to see you and they should want to see you at your best. And if they don't, get rid of them, get them out of your life. So you should be your best always or as much as you possibly can for yourself and for your family. So there's just some of the things I want to talk to you guys about. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you.